Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the new concept that is fall through attributes. That means nothing but what I can say is attribute inheritance. How the attribute inheritance works in the comp in the Vue.js components, I will try to tell you. So attribute inheritance or a fall through attribute is an attribute. Any attribute, so you can take in any attribute and also anything. So, like uh, we have non event listeners also there, are also there, right? So, those event listeners and all the attributes, are all, those are all passed into a passed to a component. So, if you are a mentioning for a component name, just like how you have mentioned VAFN model, like that. So, if you mention these all the attributes, these all the things will be passed into the component. If you don't, but it is not, but is not explicitly declared in the receiving component props or emits. If it is not mentioned in the props or emits, these all the things will be carried forward or inherited into the component. Common examples of this one include class, style, and ID attributes. So, for example, let's say that when a component renders, if if it has a single root element, all the fall through attributes and all those things will be automatically added to the root elements attributes. So, this is the fallback attribute, fall through attributes. How it will be. I will try to show you a simple example. For example, let's say that I am having a button. Let's say I am having a my button. My button dot view. In this my button dot view, we'll be having a template. For this one, this one I am having a button. This is a simple button. Click here for sample button. This is a sample button. Let's go to the script setup. So I am not mentioning any props or anything, but I will try to add the props there. Now here, let's go to the app dot view. Here I will comment on this one. We will see only the fall through attributes. I am coming component model also. We have completed. Now here I am adding the my button. Put my button from components. slash my button dot view and if I try to take this my button my button and if you see the output so nothing happens we will be able to see a sample button fine now for example let's say that I will send here class is equal to large this class I will add for this component class is equal to large so what will happen so this is an attribute right these attributes are these are attributes. So this is an attribute, something like a prop. You can assume this one as a prop. And this prop, I am not mentioning here in the props. If you don't mention in the props explicitly, then this class will be automatically added to the root element for this component. So what is the root element for this one? This is a button. Now if I try to show you here, let's clear page. And if I inspect the element and show you here, you'll be able to see button class is equal to large. So whatever the class I have applied in the component. So that is automatically added here. <clears throat> that is one thing. Not only the class. So you can also apply the style also. For example, let's say that I want to apply the style for this one. I try to apply the style. Here let's go. And I am applying a style for this one. Style is equal to color red. So I have applied a color red for this one. My button. Automatically this style is not mentioned in the props for this my button. So this will be carry forwarded. You try to see here the output. Here sample button it is having a red color why because that style color red has been carry forwarded to the components root <coughs> element so like this you will be having not only this one so we can also send the print also i will try to show you those event also first we'll try to see this class and style and now we have seen the class and style and all those things now next is what we'll try to do is for example let's say that this one is already having a class like btn okay this is having a class btn and this one is having a color of yellow and if you don't mention anything in the app dot view you will be able to see color as yellow and the btn class will be mentioned here and if you see here yellow it is in the yellow color and the btn class is mentioned now when you apply to this one to here when i apply when you apply here for this one my button then what will happen so these classes the btn what is the class available and the large what is available here both of the classes will be merged okay both of this will be merged and also the style also will be merged if it has a same color and all those things 
the parent one will be taken as the president so that means it will be applied color red and here if you see the output see it is in the red color yellow color has been <coughs> overrided and here btn and large both the classes has been applied now let's say for example for the color red i am having and also i have applied another class another style font size of around 20 pixel so this font size will be applied so only the color yellow will be overridden and the font size 20 pixel will be applied so this is the nothing but inheritance for this one if the child's root component already has an existing class or style attributes it will be merged with the style and the class values that are inherited from the parent so that is the thing which i, which I want to tell you so we have seen about the class and style in the same scenario occurs for the id and all those things also for example if you have a click event for this one say that for this one for the app.view for this button i have a i have a click event so red click is equal to uh, on parent click so we have a method on parent click let's see what will happen here you will be having constant on parent click is equal to like this i will be writing and here i will be writing console.log console.log on parent click okay this is the thing i am using on parent click yeah. now if you see the output here let's refresh this page in the console and if i click on this one so we are able to see the on parent click but this button is available in the child component so that means this event listener is also carry forwarded to the child component that is one thing i want to tell you but if i have another click event here the red click equal to on child click so if i have a here like this in this one i am having constant on child click equal to like this if i am having also console.log so where i am going here yeah console.log child click or something so now what will happen is both the event listeners will fire in this scenario both the event listeners will be fired so the click event on child click will be fired first and afterwards this parent will be fired first let's see and here if i try to refresh this page and if i click on this one see first child element has been clicked and afterwards parent element has been clicked so like this you'll be having the click listener will be added to the root element of the by of the button that is the native button element when the native button element is clicked it will trigger the on click method of the parent component if the native button already has a click listener bound with the vi from then both listeners will trigger so that is one thing which i want to explain you so this is this is all about the fall through attributes the basic concept so if you are having nested component inheritance and all those things means so i will try to explain you in the next video so this is the fall through so whenever you are having a component class and all those things automatically these things will be carry forwarded to the root element of that one and also not only that one the event listeners also will be carry forwarded if the if it is having both the event listeners means all the event listeners will be fired and if you are having about the style means so these all will be merged so this is what i want to explain you hope you understood about this fall through attributes if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video I, if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you